Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize the input fields on the contact form in your Squarespace website. We're going to change up the colors and the borders and even the font that's typed inside to your form. Now, before we dig into these codes, I do want to mention the title and descriptions and buttons for the contact forms on your Squarespace website. Those can all be customized using your site styles menus. You don't need custom code for that. We're talking about the input fields where people type stuff into those forms before they submit it. So as always, the codes I'm using today are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you exactly how they work so you'll understand what you want to change to make it look amazing on your own website. So here we are in my demo site. I just have a standard form here. And again, if you want to change anything about the text for these titles or the button colors or text, all of that stuff there is done in your site styles menu. We're going to change what happens when you're typing into these form fields with your input text like first name right here. You'll notice right away that text doesn't match the font family for all of the other stuff on my site. So we're gonna change that up, change up the border and the background. All of this is done with custom CSS. So I'm gonna to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. Now this code name is listed in the description below. It says form wrapper, field list, field, field element. And that's the fancy computer way of saying all of these fields that you type stuff into. So let's open up a curly bracket. And first things first, how about we change up the background color? I'm gonna say background pink, just a web safe color name. And now the background is pink. Let's say we wanna change up the border as well uh, or completely remove it. I'll add a semicolon and say border, none. And now the border is gone from all of those form fields. Now let's say we just want a solid underline or a bottom border and a transparent background. We can do that too. I'll add another semicolon and say border bottom. And I'll add my favorite shade of teal. And instead of pink, I'm going to remove that text and just say transparent and check it out. Now we have a solid underline for those form fields, but no actual color associated with it. Now where it says first name, that's what we typed into there. Let's change up that font family using the same code name in CSS. I'm going to add one more semicolon here and say font family Poppins. Poppins is the name of the font family already installed on my site, used on everything else. So I can just use that code name right there and the font style will be updated. It still looks really tiny though. How about we change the size? I'll add another semicolon and say font size 20 px, but nothing happened. That's because my code's not important enough. I need to add exclamation point important to the end of that to make sure the browser pays attention to my code. And there we go. Now it's updated. Now, one other thing I want to mention, which I think is pretty cool, is we can actually change the style of the form field when someone's actively typing into it. So let's say they're adding a last name. You'll notice how it stands out with a slight, uh, it's got a white background there. I'm just going to start typing last name so we can see what happens when we add this extra piece of code. We're going to add the pseudo element or pseudo name active and focus. I just pasted it right here into custom CSS. I'm going to give it a new curly bracket here and say background yellow. So now when I click into that form field, you'll see how much it truly stands out compared to everything else that I'm typing into. You'll also notice it has a solid black outline for that form field. We can get rid of that using those same code names for active and focus. You just need to add one more semicolon and say outline none. Now, when I click into it again, you'll see that form field is that solid yellow. It's super highlighted, but there's no outline associated with it anymore. Alrighty, that's it for this quick tutorial. Those code names are listed in the description below along with the examples that I just showed you. We're using this to change the input field, changing up the borders, the background, and the style of the font for the text that people type into that form field. Again, if you want to change up the button, maybe the color or the font or the field title or description, use your site styles menu to do that. You don't need custom code if you're using version 7.1. But to update all of the content inside those fields, grab the codes listed in the description below and put them in the custom CSS panel of your own site. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.